you know, being born a male is a sort of a, you could look upon it as a sort of a death sentence in that on average males die 10 years earlier than females and just being born a male alters your risk of disease. So we're more likely to develop uh, cardiovascular disease. We're more likely to have problems with ulcers, develop abdominal obesity, things such as this. Um, and that's all just by becoming a male. So, and you become a male because you're exposed to sex hormone, testosterone, androgens early in fetal development. And it's that stage in early fetal development, which we know is important in also programming risk of later diseases and which are impacted by nutrition. So if you like becoming a male, exposure to male reproductive hormones and risk of disease are all sort of programmed at the same time and they turn out to be interrelated. Well, the, the best example is to think about disorders that we know are associated with um, the epidemic of obesity in our modern society. So if you think about men getting a rather fat tummy, which is an indication that they're putting on fat within their abdomen, visceral fat, and men are predisposed to do that, whereas women are not. And that, again, is something that's a consequence of being becoming a man, of being masculinized. And our propensity to actually put on weight in that way means that we are at increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes, liver disease, and cardiovascular disease, so what we would call modern Western disorders. So really, that's what, that's what happens. That's one of the explanations for why men are more at risk of dying and more at risk of these diseases can be related to the fact that they're predisposed to put on weight within their abdomens. And we know that as you get older, then you're more likely to do that. And one of the triggers for putting on weight within your abdomen is falling testosterone levels, that they fall with age. And the concerns that we have now are that you can be programmed in fetal life to have lower testosterone levels in adulthood. In other words, it's another means via which fetal programming could alter your risk of later disease.